Hello and welcome back to another video. This time we're in France. We're getting about, aren't we? Sure are, mate. This is Josh Kench, my teammate. And, well, I hope you know who I am because you're watching my vlog. But yeah, so this week we're in France. We're racing a 2.2. So this video will basically consist of a bit of travel. Hope you guys enjoy watching what our preparations will look like heading into a five-day stage race. I thought I should probably do a quick roundup on what the race is this week. So it's Tour of Loire Cher, which is a UCI race. So with the national governing body, they rank races in order of level. So Loire Cher is a 2.2, which means it's an amateur race. So the two at the front means it's two or more days. If it was a 1.2, that means it's a one day race and it's an amateur race. And it goes all the way up to two point world tour or one point world tour so two point world tour would be the tour de france and then there's two or three levels in between that so it goes from say 2.2 at the bottom to 2.1 which is now a professional race so we can race up to a 2.1 and up to a two point pro so call it four levels 2.1 world tour 2 point pro 2.1 2.2 so the biggest teams can't race ours and we can't race the Tour de France, but we can ride up to a 2.1 and a 2.0 pro if say the Tour of Norway or the Tour of Britain gives us an invitation to their race, we can race that race. And obviously the biggest teams race that. So it's our opportunity to race against them. But this week it's just a 2.2. So it's basically all the best amateur teams in the world trying to win it so that one of the bigger teams can see, wow, this guy is really good in the lower ranks and we'll sign him. So that's basically a short, kind of simple way on how cycling works. So you don't think I'm just riding some random race in France. There is a reason Black Spoke are riding these races. Just back from a couple hours with Josh, Kench and James Oram, two of my teammates. So it's a pretty relaxing day actually, two days till race day. So what me and Josh will do is we'll, later on this afternoon, We'll drive the Black Sport car that's in Girona through to probably four or five hundred K up the road. It's eight hundred K to the race star. And then we'll do the next three hundred K tomorrow morning. So yes, yeah, so all that's left to do for today is eat. Got egg fried rice from last night and a couple more eggs. So we'll refry that up. My memory, my experience of these races in France is pretty terrible food. Just overcooked pasta and dry chicken. So I'm trying to, these last couple of days while I can still control what I'm eating, trying to smash in lots of fruit and vegetables and a bit of flavor, keep, keep morale high before we head off. What I've found is sustainable for me over a long term for losing weight is I really like eating. I've got a big appetite, I grew up in a big family and I enjoy eating, I enjoy a big plate of food and I enjoy feeling full. I like feeling satiated. So basically I've spent the last couple of years figuring out what's sustainable for me to perform at say an optimal race weight where I do need to be light, I do need to be quite lean, I wanna go up hills pretty quick, but what's gonna keep me happy? So contrary to what you might think, it's eating a lot, which means bulking my meals out with vegetables and simple carbs and Staying away from maybe calorie, calorie dense foods. Simple insight to, to me, I guess, and how I eat and why my meals are so big. This would be a normal bowl and this is my big bowl and it is filled. The nice thing about driving to the race is because we've got the car, you don't really have to worry about space or weight of what you're taking. So you can kind of prepare quite nicely. Just made some simple pasta with some veggies. That'd be probably tonight's dinner, tomorrow's lunch, and then just some banana bread. A bit of snacking. It's actually probably, I'll give that to the mechanics and the Swannies, keep them happy. Because, I don't know, you spend five, six days of just been waiting on hand and foot. It's nice to start that relationship off, especially if it's someone new with you doing something for them. This is everything I'll take to the stage race. Road suits, kind of winter jackets, jerseys, bib shorts, a wash bag, base layer, aero socks, normal socks, shoes, helmet. Wet bag, so gilet, gloves, overshoes, 100% riding glasses, a book, some casual clothes. Don't actually need much casual clothes, because apart from riding your bike, you just kind of sit in a hotel bed all day. 
so you don't need a lot. It looks like it's not gonna fit. But I got these little bags and bags, and that will turn into this. It's a big boy. Check out outfit just straight in. Mega. Just uh, get, arriving at the hotel now. First part of the journey done. Five hour drives, nine o'clock at night. How was that, Josh? Yeah, good time, mate. You enjoy driving in oh, Europe? It was a lovely drive, mate. I, mean, I tried to book a really stereotypical French hotel. So I hope this lives up to expectation. You just don't really get buildings like this in New Zealand. That's why I love here. This old school stuff. Yeah. Well, you're quite cool. Thought we'd do a little interview with Josh, get to know him. He's been on the team since the beginning. Still on the 23. So yeah. How are you going, Josh? How old are you, mate? Um 20, almost 21. No. So you're still a young buck. Yeah, you're still a young buck. But this is your third season with the team? Yeah, third season. Started in my first year under 23, so. Straight into it. So it's your third year with the team. You did a lot of racing last year in Europe, Tour of Norway, you were up there on the climbs. What's the target for this year? Uh, this year is probably starting to get results in the 2.2s and 1.1s we do, or 2.1s as well. So the tours we do. Yeah. Um, yeah, just starting to compete basically. So last year I built up really nicely to the point where I could compete in the races. So yeah. hopefully I can just build on top of that this year. And then for those that maybe don't know you, what type of rider are you? Uh, hills, I, I like the hills, so yeah. kind of that style. Yeah, okay, yeah. sweet. Any races you're looking forward to this season? Uh, Tour of Hellas, which is in two weeks. In yeah, Greece. pro race in Greece, eh? Yeah, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Go yeah. through all the touristy sites. And who's your best pal on the team? Uh, probably Orem, James. Oh, you're a big fan of Orem. Yeah. So you're living in Girona with him right now, eh? Yeah, and then we live yeah. close to each other back home, so yeah, been pretty close. Okay. So this will be quite a lumpy race this week, but we're not too sure. It's not super hilly. The weather looks like it'll be okay. So, I mean, we're going there to try and win. We got Iron Gate. Like, I feel like I'm going quite well. How's your form? Oh, I'll be a good support rider. You don't think that you can maybe go for yourself? Ooh, nah, a bit too early. Okay, too so... Early. Josh is not super confident. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I would like to go and try and get some sort of success. I'm not sure what that would look like. Obviously, winning the thing would be amazing. But you just don't know what the other riders, what condition they're going to rock up with. So yeah, so I'll try and get some good footage from this week from the racing and let you guys know. And I'll get a wee bit of footage of me and Josh's travel days. We're bonding. Just arrived at the room. It was a quick tour, Josh. Uh... We got the beds. Two beds. Very cozy. Two so singles, so but not really. So we can snuggle up tonight, shower, loosely connected to the bedroom, and then this lovely bathroom. And the pooper. I like the uh, carpet floor that's not <laughs> really carpet. Since when did Continental teams start getting team buses? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Ethan Bat. Yeah. Luke Madre. Good to see you boys. Yeah, good to see you too. Frankie, the boss. Yo, yo. Say hello. <laughs> and it is and Fred. Fred, mechanic. Stefan Inubert. Stefan, you do the massage. <laughs> and you? I'm uh, Lars van Hazenbroeke and I'm uh, the boss's son. You're the boss's son. <laughs> <laughs> pop, pop. Aaron Gate, back on the vlog. Ah, hello. A regular appearance. <laughs> Straight back from Oceanas. How was it? How many titles did you get? Five? There you go. Yeah, five. That's pretty good going. Form's good, condition's good. Yeah, can't it's a complain. Bit of you this race, isn't it? Yeah, well. Some lumpy back finishes. To, um, back to the luxurious French cuisine. Oh, man. Nice bike racing. It's though. been a while. <laughs> <laughs> like, on a camera, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> but rest assured, it will be bad. You think I'd try this? Let's <laughs> No, 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 no. That's pre-race day for me and Josh. Hope you 
you enjoyed seeing what we get up to. Five good days of racing coming up, so stay tuned to see how we get on. Anything, Josh? Just a thumbs up.